You were the only radio station in the world that didn't edit out all the swear words. It's because we're bad boys. That's why. We, <laughs> bad ass. That's asses. why we like you. Um, yeah. And I feel very, I feel very romantic about that time because it was the first time outside of our own country that we felt people listen to our music. What was that time like for you? Uh, it was a lot of um, s- sleeping on the floor of vans, sleeping in travel lodges um, on special occasions. And uh, there was quite a lot of booze involved. It's amazing because you talk about breakthrough songs and you talk about songs that start a band's career and you're just the perfect example of it. Debut single, the band had formed, what, a couple of years before Little yeah, Lion Man came out? Yeah, 2007 we started, yeah. And then tell us about where and when you started writing this song. I think I started writing it in um, Devon at Ben's Ben's parents' house. I've been playing drums all my life up until, yeah, about, and, and I, even then was playing drums for Laura Marling, um, but I was playing lots of different instruments for her, really. And and then she in, had invited me up to start singing a couple of songs at the end of her gigs, which is um, when I first started singing kind of publicly. That would have been an interesting shift going, oh, actually, I, I reckon I could do this. Yeah, I mean, I played, you know, open mics and stuff at uni and then, and then was spending every weekend down in London with Winston was organising these club shows at a place called the Bosun's Locker. And I'd literally get the train down from Edinburgh where I was at uni down to London, which is like a four and a half hour train every week. It was just a really, really fun group of people. And we'd all just jump up and play um, with each other a lot. And then, and then if anyone ever had a new song, they were, you know, duty bound to jump up and play it. And that's when we sort of started the band. We were all band rejects really to start with. Um, were you, were you working as well? Yeah, I was uh, I was a tour guide in London. I used to go and collect tour groups from the airport with a little sign, get them on a coach. No way. Give them the microphone deal. Welcome to London. My name's Marcus. <laughs> I'll be your tour guide for the next 25 minutes. I'll and be then an award-winning artist in a few years' time. <laughs> Just you wait. Subscribe to Triple J's new podcast, Inspired. <laughs>